Hi, so today I'm going to talk you through how to set up a shower chair, a mobile shower chair and a shower stool in your bathroom at home. So it's important to know that the type of people who would use this equipment are someone who might be having difficulty standing in their shower, someone who might need a care to help them with their shower or someone who's having difficulty with their balance. So I'm going to talk through each piece of equipment separately and I'm going to talk about some of the differences and the similarities between them. So first off, I'm going to talk about your shower chair. So this chair has four legs, a seat back and a seat base and two arms. It's important to know before you put the shower chair into your shower that your shower is a level floor, the tray is level and that it's not uneven. If it's uneven, you might find that when you sit on it or transfer on it, that your, ch your chair can move and then this can be dangerous and might cause an accident for you. One of the other things to consider is that you have enough space. So when you're putting the shower chair in, sometimes the shower chair can fit in the exact space of the shower tray and leave no room for your feet. So I'll just show you that there. So if I'm sitting on a shower tray, shower chair, I need to make sure I have room for my feet in the front too. If I don't have room for my feet, they'll tuck under the chair and then that might cause an accident when I sit to stand. So during showering, I'll need to sit to stand to get in and out of the shower and I'll also need to sit to stand for my washing. Okay, so it's important when you put the shower chair in that you're also leaving enough room for your feet for that transfer and while you're sitting during your washing. Okay. Some of the benefits of having a shower chair with a backrest are for a client who might have difficulty maintaining their sitting balance. So sitting up for long periods of time can be quite hard on someone, their energy might be low and they might need that support of the backrest to keep them sitting up straight for that time that they're in the shower. The armrests also help with that sit to stand to push you up and down from. Like with any other seating or chair, you need to make sure that the height of the shower chair is the correct height for you too. So this can be adapted. So on the four legs, they have extendable legs or you can lower them. So this works by raising the clip and then lowering the pin. Make sure you lower all the legs to the same length. Once again, this is to make sure that your transfer is safe and that you're not getting it on an uneven surface. So this might be the easiest thing for you to do. So you could ask a family member or a carer to help you with that or your occupational therapist. So I've made this chair a little lower and now I'm going to sit on it. I've made sure there's enough space for me and the legs in the chair. So my arms on the chair, my legs back, I can sit down. Okay, so my feet are firmly on the ground. They're not dangling or pointing. So if you do find your feet are dangling or pointing, the chair might be too high and you need to take it to a lower height. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you a shower chair with wheels. Okay. So this piece of equipment looks similar to the other shower chair. It has arms on both sides. It has four legs, a seat back, and a seat base. The difference with this is it has an attendant propel bar and it has four wheels with brakes. So you're considering the same things getting into the shower with this shower chair. Um, if there's enough space for the shower chair and if your feet are resting on the floor with it and the extra space for your feet. An additional feature you need to know is that you have to have a level access shower for this. Because it's on wheels, it moves back and forth. It's not to be lifted over any steps, any lifts, or any trays. So you have to have a level access shower to use a piece of equipment like this. The bar at the back is for an attendant or for a carer who, if they're washing you in the shower, might need to move where you're sitting in the shower, um, or might need to move you from A to B. So some people who use this equipment would find that transferring on a wet surface might be 
uh, grace to them, there might be extra risk of them having a fall on the wet surface. So this chair can be propelled on the wheels to a dry surface where you'll do your sit to stand transfer. So using a mobile shower chair commode, you would never transfer in and out in the shower or the wet surface. You would move the shower chair to the dry space, transfer in, then the care would bring you into the shower where you would wash and then you'd be brought out to a dry space again where you'd transfer out. All of your transfers, you have to ensure that the brakes are on. So you can clip them down with your foot the front and at the back. Okay, so the back one's harder to get into. Okay, so once you're sure that they're all down and that you're on a dry surface, this chair you can use then to transfer in and out of. Okay, and the brakes clip off. Similarly to the other chair then, um, you need to make sure that it's a level surface, it's not going to wobble where you're getting in and out for your transfers to. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a shower stool. So this shower stool is a little smaller than the shower chairs, it's about half the size on the seat base here. There's no back to it but it does have handles here that you can push up and down from. And it does have the extendable legs with the clip so you can change the height that you need it to be for you. Okay, similarly, getting into the shower, this can be used in a level access shower or a shower tray. You just need to make sure that you're putting it on a surface that's level so it's not gonna move from side to side. And that once again, you have enough foot space. So you're sitting on it and there's enough foot space, your toes aren't pointing, or dangling, so you can do a safe sit to stand transfer. It's important to know that you wouldn't use a piece of equipment like this if you had someone who found it difficult to stand um, or to sit for a long period of time um, without some upper, upper support here, like the backrest. Um, so if that's the case that you're using the shower chair and you're finding you need more support back, maybe contact your occupational therapist and ask them maybe to upgrade it to a shower chair. Okay, so if you're finding that your shower is still too small and you're struggling to fit this type of shower chair in and give yourself enough room for your feet and your transfer, there's another shower chair that we use too. So this shower stool is a corner shower stool and you see here there's like a triangular piece here that goes into the corner. So similarly to the others, you're making sure you have enough space, you have a level surface, and that you're putting it in the corner. Okay. This also has extendable legs, here, here, and here. And this specific shower uh, stool has an adjustable ferrule. I'll come a bit closer, you can see. It's adjustable ferrule here. And the reason for that is, in some shower trays, there can be a high point on the wall back here over the tray and you may need the ferrule to move or adjust to accommodate that. Okay, so similarly to the shower chairs and the other shower stool, you can adjust this to get the correct height on the legs that you need to manage your sit stand transfer. You want to make sure that you're putting it on a level surface and that there is uh, no risk of it sliding from side to side. You want to make sure that you have enough leg room to put your legs on the ground and do a sit to stand transfer. Okay, and then if you need to adapt this small ferrule at the back to accommodate the specific shower, uh, shower tray, you have the option of, of moving that ferrule as well back here. Okay, up and down. If you're having any difficulty with the setup of any of these pieces of equipment, or you have any questions about how to use them, um, contact your local occupational therapist and they can speak to you on the phone, um, or they can send you out some information through it, um, or they can come out and show you how to do it. Okay, thank you very much.